Hi everyone, this is Anna of Crafty Anna Studio. Welcome to my channel. I will be creating a beautiful floral bouquet card using stamps and dies from the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero January 2020 kit. Though this kit is a year old and has sold out, stick around to the end of my video for additional inspiration and some good news. You may also have some similar stamps and dies in your stash, so hopefully this video will inspire you to use what you have. I am also participating in a Valentine's YouTube hop organized by fellow card maker Katie of Hook, Line and Inker. I will talk more about the details of this hop in my video. Before I jump into making the card, here's a quick look at the kit. The stamp set is full of sentiments for many occasions, not just for Valentine's. Hello friend, deepest sympathy, happy birthday, for you, XOXO, you are the best, and a mini overall text stamp and a couple of stamp stamps. But the star of the show are the dies in this kit. Let me briefly take you through them. First, you get a mini envelope die, then a floral bouquet wrap die, and a sentiment banner die that you can use with the sentiments in the stamp set. There's a whole bunch of fancy dies. A beautiful butterfly die, a rosebud die, and two, three, four, five, six flower dies with stem, and one bloom without a stem. There are two leaf clusters and another side-facing butterfly die. I spent one evening die cutting several of these flowers and leaves and used up a lot of my white cardstock scraps. To create this card, I took one die cut of each of the flowers, used Copics to color them in. You can use any coloring medium you have on hand and they would work well too. I will list the Copic numbers of the colors I used up on the upper left hand side of the screen. You'll see, coloring them takes no time at all. I don't even try to blend them in too much because when you combine them in a bouquet, they will look beautiful nevertheless. I just made sure I emphasized each petal and blended them in the areas where necessary. While I do my simple coloring, I will take this opportunity to tell you a little more about the hop. There are about 20 wonderfully talented creators in this hop. Like me, most of them are fairly new to YouTube, so it will be much appreciated if you check them out. There is a grand prize to be won, so be sure to subscribe, leave a comment in each stop to be eligible to win. This is open internationally. I will link the next in line in the video description box below. Now back to the coloring. I used the Y17 marker, which is the medium color, to soften the YG16 marker which was the darkest color. Then I went back to the Y02 marker and used it to further blend in the colors and to remove the harsh lines. For the middle of the flower, I used an E31 marker as the base color, then came in with an E18 marker and applied little dots in the middle of the flower. then went back with the E31 marker to blend them in. For the stem of the flower, I used the YG01 marker, which is a yellow-green color. This is the base color. Then I used a darker color, YG17, and colored the areas where they would be the darkest. Then came in with a medium color, G14. This flower cluster reminded me of the baby's breath flower that you often find in bouquets used as fillers. I colored them in using the C markers to create depth to the flowers. I used the darker C3 marker for the shadows where the flower meets the stem and also dotted them here and there to create an illusion of small flowers. Then, I used the C2 marker to blend them all in and to soften the harsh lines.
To add a hint of color to the flowers, I used a very light yellow, the Y00. I colored the stem with the same three green markers as my first flower. Here are the rest of the flowers that I colored off screen. A purple one, a pink one, and the yellow one that I colored earlier. For the rosebud, I used the same C markers. C3 for the shadows at the petal overlap, the base, and the middle part of the flower. Then the C2 marker to blend out the harsh lines. Again, I use the same three green markers for the stem. Off screen, I colored in the leaf clusters as well. It's time to assemble the card. Here I have an aqua card base measuring 4.25 by 5.5 inches, white card stock measuring 4 by 5.25 inches, a piece of scrap paper for the sentiment, and a vellum floral wrap for the flowers. This foiled vellum is from Rosie Studio, a company in New Zealand. This has been in my stash for more than four years, so unfortunately it's no longer available. If I find something similar, I will link it in the description box below. Off screen, I also colored in one butterfly, the colors I indicate above. For the background, I used Glimmer Metallic Ink in Aqua, which was also included in the kit. I took the metallic ink, gave it a shake, and squeezed a couple of drops onto my glass mat. I diluted the ink with a little bit of water, then I brushed it across the card, starting at the top, moving it across the paper until about halfway down the card. I also flicked some leftover paint in my brush to give the background more interest. Then I set the panel aside to dry. When the panel was dry, I took the foiled vellum floral wrap, added a few drops of liquid glue at the back, and adhered it, centered on the card. I temporarily stuck some washi tape to the sides of the card to keep it from moving around. Then, I began to assemble my floral bouquet. When assembling, I made sure to balance out all the elements, both in the size of the flowers and in the colors. The white rosebud and the baby's breath, not next to each other, but across from each other. I positioned the yellow bud at one side of the arrangement and the bigger yellow flower on the other. I then added more leaves here and there, filling in the gaps. I used just very little amounts of liquid glue at first, so I could still move them around when I needed to. When I was happy with the arrangement, I added more glue. I closed up the wrap with a small bead of glue on the side. Then I added more glue to the back to secure it in place. Then took the butterfly and added glue to the center of its body and adhered it onto the vellum wrap right where I had closed it. This also hid the glue marks in the vellum.
Then I added glue to the back of the panel and adhered it onto the aqua cardstock. Then I added glue to that panel and adhered it onto a side folding card base and pressed it firmly to make sure everything was set in place. For the sentiment, I used the Aqua Glimmer Metallic Ink, painted it across scrap cardstock, stamped Happy Valentine's Day with clear sticky ink, embossed it with white embossing powder and cut it into a strip using my paper trimmer. I fishtailed both ends of the sentiment strip. I suppose I could have used a die in the kit, but I thought this was a little easier. I cut the strips of foam squares and placed it on either end, keeping the middle free to accommodate the tip of the floral wrap. Then I pasted it on just eyeballing the position across the card. For added shine, I took a Nouveau shimmer pen and scribbled it on all the elements. The butterfly and all the flowers in the bouquet. I'm not sure if you can see the shine but it's there in real life. Here's a closer look at the card I made. I also have some additional card inspirations that I paired with other Hero Arts products. Now for some good news. The stamps and dies from the kit will be available for sale at the Hero Arts website on February 17, 2021. Yes, every year Hero Arts lets subbies choose one kit to bring back to their regular lineup and this kit won hands down. This set is so incredibly versatile, it's one of the best investments I've made. If you would like a closer look at the kit, I will link it in the video description below. But I encourage you to use what you have. You may have a bunch of flower dies from different sets, and for the floral bouquet wrap and envelope, you can easily create them with scissors and a scoring tool. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I hope you are inspired. Please don't forget to leave a comment below for a chance to win some really cool prizes and to hop along to the next creator for additional inspiration. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed my video and subscribe if you would like to see more. Till next time, bye!